Hello everyone and welcome! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a video short on showing you guys how you can easily and quickly polish out your cloudy and dull looking polycarbonate headlamp lenses. Now on this particular vehicle, it is a Toyota Sienna minivan, um, but the process that I'm going to show you on this car is basically the same for any car that uses a plastic lens. Now the materials required to complete a headlamp restoration job um, is sort of shown here, but you can't see everything very clearly, um, but I'll just call them out. You'll need a roll of masking tape to protect the paint on your bumper if needed, 1,000, 1,500 and 2,000 grit wet sanding blocks, Meguiar's Swirl Remover 2.0 uh, Machine Cut Polish, and then we also need a bottle of Meguiar's Plastex Plastic Polish and Cleaner, a UV protection sealant or some car wax, several waffle pads with the drill attachment backing as well as a drill uh, or an air grinder in this case that I'm using, a water source as well as several microfiber cloths. Now the first step in our headlight restoration process is to use a coarse wet sanding block to remove that initial layer of plastic oxidation. In this case, we're going to start off with our 1000 grit wet sanding block and thoroughly soak the headlamp and the sanding block and begin sanding the oxidation off of the lens. Now, you want to ensure that during the sanding process that you use your water supply to flush away that excessive plastic slurry that forms. You will also notice that during the sanding process that certain areas with the sanding block will feel really smooth while other areas will feel gritty or sticky. It is imperative that you use water to continue flushing away and sanding until a smooth uniform finish is achieved. It is perfectly normal after the sanding process with a 1000 grit block to have fine scratch lines on the lens. When you are satisfied with the smoothness of the lens using the 1000 grit sanding block, thoroughly rinse the headlamp. Please note that the cloudiness of the lens is normal. We're going to use our 1500 grit wet sanding block and just like before, we're going to use our water supply and flush the sanding block as we sand the headlamp lens to an ultra smooth finish. This helps remove the fine scratches introduced from the previous step. Similar to step one and two, we are now moving up to a 2000 grit wet sanding block. And just like before, we're going to use lots of water and continue rubbing the headlamp lens to remove the ultra fine scratches from step two. This is essentially a uh, pre-finishing step and it is advisable to spend extra time here to sand out all the ultra-fine scratches. Rinse the headlamp thoroughly. Now that we've completed the oxidation removal using our wet sanding blocks, that the headlamp is quite clouded and we're going to now clarify this lens by using our waffle pad as well as a generous amount of Meguiar's Swirl Remover 2.0 Cut Compound and using the high speed tool as well as the abrasives in the cut compound to remove those really fine scratches and cloudiness from the lens. Now the trick here is to not to apply too much pressure and let the speed of the tool do the work for you. It's also really important to ensure that you move the tool back and forth on the lens to prevent burning of the plastic. Use a microfiber cloth and remove the excess polishing compound. For our final headlamp polish, I've switched out my waffle pad with a new one and I'm going to apply a generous amount of Meguiar's Plastex plastic polish and just like before, I'm going to spread it across the headlamp lens and then using the speed of the tool in conjunction with the polishing compound to achieve the final finish on my headlamp lens. Just like before, ensure that the tool remains moving on the lens to prevent any plastic burning. Using a microfiber cloth, remove the excess polishing compound from the headlamp lens and the adjoining painted surfaces. The final step in our headlamp restoration is the application of a UV protection sealant onto the headlamp lens. By applying this protection layer, it will ensure that the work performed in this video will last as long as possible. This can be purchased from any automotive parts store and is very easy to apply simply by spraying it onto a cloth and then applying an even layer onto the headlamp lens. If the spray is not available, substitute with automotive wax or a ceramic spray coating. After the protection coating has had several minutes to dry, take a clean microfiber cloth and polish it off the headlamp. 
So you guys saw the headlamp earlier, how cloudy it was. I spent maybe 10 minutes at most per headlight using some basic tools and products that you can buy at your local automotive store. And the lamp is almost crystal clear. Now there's gonna be some crazing and some scratching inside the lens that you can't completely eliminate unless you really grind down the plastic. And that's really not advised because that's not really gonna affect the optics too badly. And you don't want to thin out the lens too badly because you're going to likely have to polish these again in several years. Now I did the same thing for the driver's side, which was actually worse. It looks brand new. So if you guys like my video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel.